Hello everyone, Chuck Roberts here for another video review. This time we have, well, it's another Carl Fazer classic, <laughs> or will be a classic I'm sure. It's iced coffee and mud cake, uh, infused into milk chocolate. Into delicious milk chocolate, there you go, makes all the difference. So it's strange on this one, I think it's like some kind of, see the Carl Fazer here, this is a Finnish um, chocolate company. Um, this is a travel sort of gimmick, I guess, where... I don't know, presumably they're inspired by different um, cities of the world, it seems. So you've got like New York here, for instance. There's got, like, quite a nice little decoration, New York taxi up there. Um, there's that uh, Empire State Building or somewhere. Yeah, forgive my ignorance if it's somewhere else. Um, Such a liberty down there, of course. Um, yeah, so there we go. Um, of course, holding a, holding a coffee there as well. So <laughs> I think that's pretty apt, I think, for uh, today's age. So there we go, yes. Um, yeah, so there we go. Um, it's quite different. I mean, basically, I stumbled across this by accident, really, um, because I was uh, basically just looking for other phase of chocolates because I quite like them, and um, I found this one. I don't know whether this is. I don't know. I'm assuming it's still a sort of. I said there's nothing really finished looking on the front, is there? I mean, it doesn't look like it's. There's no finished writing or finished text or anything like that. Um, I'm assuming it's still a bar from, you know, sold in Finland. Um, but it's all in English on the back generally. Um, there's a bit of Finnish, of course, but... Unwrap the world, it says. Carl Fieser was an explorer following his footsteps. New York is full of exciting stuff to discover. Get, in the, in get the inside code for a city freedom. This is valid in Finland and Estonia, so there we go. <laughs> um, Right, yeah, so there we are. So it's 130 gram bar, so it's a big bar, this one. That's the often are, these Carl Fazer ones. Um, a bit easy to read this, though, because it's on a white background. So hopefully I'll be able to find out what's going on. Yeah, so per 100 grams it gives you here, so it's a bit of a pain. But um, yeah, so 519 grams per 100 grams. So we add roughly a third on again of that. So it's quite. Yeah, so it's quite a lot of. Uh, yeah, it's about 160, is that something like that? 160, if you... 20, yeah. So, we are basically, we had around, around around 170 calories on top of this, I think, which sounds, um, which is quite a lot, but, yeah, so there's about, I say, for all intents and purposes, there's about 700 calories in this bar. Um, it's 31 grams of fat, so we're giving out a third on, so maybe about 41 grams of saturates, 18 grams of saturates. So give me another third. So that's how much went one message to eighteen. So add about six. So twenty four grams. So basically, um, yeah. So it's not. I think it's it's a segmented bar in this, but I think it's got a design on it. Um, I don't think it's quite segmented in the usual way. But yeah. So I think roughly, you know, you probably want you probably use a sort of a quarter of it or something would be normally what you'd have. So a quarter of all that. So it's still quite a lot of calories in, it, isn't it? So yeah, one hundred and fifty maybe. 180, 360. Yeah, so it's about 180 calories in the, in the small section at the end, roughly. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, and about 10 grams of fat. Um, yeah, 6 grams of which are saturates. So there's a bit of a flourish at the end there. We'll just measure it for the sake of it now. I don't think it really matters because it's a bigger bar, but it's 19 centimetres. I've been too scientific. There's a bit of a flourish there, so we're going to lose a couple of centimetres, I think. Okay, so that's, uh, let's give it an open. So it's uh, coffee and mud cake, so it's a nice combination. Quite a big, um, from the, wow. Mmm. Now, as soon as you open it, you do get that like, you get a strong smell of coffee. Well, coffee, chocolate. You know, you when you get coffee flavored chocolate, it's that kind of smell you've got, I've, I've had there, which is very nice. Hmm. So I don't know. If there's any code on the inside, but never mind. Anyway, doesn't really matter. So we'll turn it over. See what the design is. So it's quite a nice design. Unfortunately, it's broke a bit. Um, you can see it's basically saying uh, it's got the Carl Fieser signature on it, or part of it. It's not the whole thing. It's quite nice actually. Decent segments. Strange, strange way of segmenting it. It's as it's divided into eight you know, in each stick or whatever. So you can see on the back, some of the usual phaser bars are very packed full of uh, fillings. So you can see all that there. 
Quite a plain back there. Um, you can see the middle there as well. So you've got lots of mud cake pieces, I think that would be. Mm, not sure really. Mm. Mm, very nice. It smells very nice, I should say. I mean, you do get a lovely strong smell of, um, sort of your coffee chocolate. Yeah, it's about 15, just under 15.8 centimetres now, so I can't quite remember what we said it was before. Um, there is a London one in the series, about 19 centimetres, wasn't it? Got that one to do next, so yes, um, <laughs> look out for that one. Uh, I was just measuring that to see what it was, but yes, so we've lost about 3.5 centimetres, something like that, I think. Okay, so it's, um, hmm, yeah, it smells very nice, yeah. If you can see that. Okay, so there seems to be two, those are just snaps in the middle, I'm not sure, I don't know if there's two different types of things. There's a dark one on the side there, like a light one there, but I don't know if it's just because I've snapped in the middle of those. Yeah, I think I have, so. Okay, let's give it a go. Hmm. Hmm. Very nice. Hmm. Very different. It's um, it's lovely chocolate. It's lovely creamy chocolate. Um, typical for Carl Fraser chocolate. So it tastes very nice. It's, it's very lovely. And you eat it. It's got, got crunchy bits in it, but they they kind of crunch on the outside, and then as soon as you bit into them, they, they you know they kind of dissolve into like a sort of lovely sort of can you know um, crumbly texture, I guess. I don't know if ever anyone ever had the old. Well, the, well, you might not remember really, but from a while ago, um, Muller Yogurts did a Muller Corner, Candy Corner, and they were very, um, sort of, little crunchy bits that were part of the um, the, the flip that you turn over. It's like a dual, dual yogurt. Basically, you've got yogurt on one side and a filling on the other, and you flip, tip it over. And these Candy Corner ones had um, sort of a powdery um, Filling on the left or whatever on, on one side of the barn. It was it's just a bit. It just reminds me of it to those really, just nice and um, crumbly texture really. So, hmm, hmm, it's very nice. Yeah, it's lovely. Hmm, very understated though. Um, hmm, it's almost a bit like a. It's almost a bit like a coffee texture. You know when you've got coffee granules there for instant coffee. Um. It doesn't taste like that, of course, but it's a bit like that kind of texture when you it's just, it's, it's, you, get, you know, it's quite solid, but it crumbles to pieces. Um, hmm. It's a very subtle taste, though. The um, It's very chocolatey from the milky chocolate, um, which is nice and creamy. Um, and I say, it's just quite crumbly texture, but it doesn't really taste of, I don't know, sometimes it's eating, I don't feel like I'm eating something called mud cake, you know, it's not really sort of, I'm not sure. It's not a strong coffee taste, but there's definitely a taste there. It's quite subtle. It's not an overly strong coffee taste. Hmm. I like the texture though. It's very nice textured and uh so you're kinda of getting a a crumble type texture I think with these with these sort of crunchy biscuit pieces. I do really like it. Uh hmm. It's just very understated. Mm. But very nice, very, as I say, it's lovely carpets of chocolate. Very subtle coffee, mud cake taste, I guess. So the, but the texture is really nice, and I do. Yeah, it does taste as nice as it looks, really. It's very, um, hmm. Now, I do, um, I do like it a lot, and there's lots of filling. You can see all the, all the filling there. Yes, there's certainly plenty of it. So it's very nice. Yeah, it's very nice. It's just, just very understated taste, really. You know, it's very subtle. Um, so it's hard to say where I can say, oh yes, this is a great coffee mud cake taste or whatever. But it's very nice. Uh, hmm. I could happily uh, eat all of this, but it's just um. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. 
I do think it works. I do think it works. I think I was a bit worried it didn't work, but I do think it does. Um, hmm. I say I love the texture of the the chocolatey mud cake pieces, or whatever. And I love the very subtle coffeeness to it all as well. It's yeah. You know, say it doesn't. You know, has a lovely coffee chocolate smell as you open the bar, and um, I think we've got to be used to it now. But um, it's a lovely smell. I do like that, and um, I say it's sort of a very subtle coffee coffee cake type taste I guess um, I don't know if it's like a Mississippi mud pie I think that's probably what it's trying to be isn't it but they've not called it that and ironically that is the that was the uh, Muller Candy Corner they did re-release it as a limited edition but that was the Candy Corner I was thinking of the Mississippi mud pie one um, so in which case um, hmm I would say it's a success and I could quite happily eat, keep eating this it's just very subtle hmm I don't think I'll go away from this thinking, oh, well, that taste really lingers with me, but it's just very nice to eat, if you know what I mean. Um, I don't feel like it's it's memorable as such. Um, but it just, just has a really nice look and feel and smell to it. Yeah, I definitely recommend it, and I've eaten pretty much a fifth, a quarter of the bar now, so... Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I'll say it's just very, um, it's just um, very understated, and I think it had to be because otherwise it'd be too rich. Um, I think it's um, hmm. it's done a really good job. I think it's just as I say, it's so subtle and so understated that you've got to, you know, you really got to sort of concentrate. I think to really sort of get the flavours. But if, you know, obviously, if you just you know, for, for me to review it, but I mean, normally we'd just be eating it and not care less, really. You could quite happily just munch through it. But it's just very, um, yeah, it's a lovely, um, it's a lovely flavour and um, texture with this, the soft candy and the crumbliness of the, of the, um, of this whole uh, crunchy, chocolatey, mud cakey coffee pieces or whatever. Um, yeah, I like it a lot. I think 4.5 4. out of 5, I think. It's just, i say it's just so subtle that, um, you know, I don't know, maybe. But I think, as I say, I think if it wasn't, it would be too rich. So I think they've done a great job here, and I definitely recommend this. It's, um, I just don't think it'll stick in your mind as saying, oh, yeah, that was a, an amazing sensual experience you had, you know, filling all your senses of different um, you know, different tastes and flavours and smells. It kind of does, but as I say, I don't know. It's just not quite um, distinct enough, I think, to stick in your mind, but, uh, but still very nice, and I definitely recommend it. Hmm. Yes, lovely. I don't think quite like anything else you can buy in a bar form at the moment that I've seen anyway. So yeah, definitely recommend it. <laughs> okay guys, hope you like the review. Um, as always, you know, subscribe and follow me on Twitter and uh, please comment and let me know what you think and stuff like that. It's always great to hear from you, so please don't, uh, you know, um, don't be worried about doing so. I'd love to hear from you, good or bad. Um, yeah, and I'll see you next time. Okay, thanks guys, take care. See you soon. Bye for now. <laughs> Bye.